Now I'm asked a lot uh, what kind of hardware I use for chip tuning, and I thought I'd cover the portable systems today. Um, traditionally, I use a Game Boy. There's the original Game Boy, the DMG01, uh, the Game Boy Advance SP. Now this produces the worst sound out of all the Game Boys here, but the battery life and the backlight is nice. Um, if you can land it, you can get a Game Boy Light from Japan. These only came out in Japan, but they're backlit. Uh, the only issue with these is the uh, battery life is not so good. But on the light, you can turn on and off the light uh, without turning off the system. And it uses AA instead of AAA batteries like the Pocket. The Pocket only uses AAA. And when powering a game cart for doing chiptune music, like the uh, GB USB Smart Card 64 with LSDJ in it for the music, uh, it eats the battery a little bit quicker because it's not traditional Nintendo hardware and it requires more power. Now, if you can manage it, see if you can find yourself a modded system on eBay or build one yourself with instructions online to get something like one of these. Now this is a regular Game Boy with a few extras. So down here we have another line out. It's called the Pro Audio Mod and it just takes out some of the noise. Standard headphone jack. Now there's no more speaker because now there's this knob here. And this knob changes the speed of the CPU on the Game Boy. The switch at the top activates it and turns it off. What this does is it allows me to slow down or speed up the Game Boy. And uh, it's great for cheating in games and such, but in music it's awesome because the Game Boy can only produce notes so low. Um, it, it, can, it only gets to a certain range and then it won't produce notes any lower than that. So what you can do is s slow the system down and when you do that, the notes themselves become lower. And I'll give you some examples of how this works. But uh, before I do that, I want to cover these. So, I mean, on the go, I traditionally use the Game Boy Advance SP. There's no headphone port, which can be kind of a pain without an adapter. Uh, it does produce a nice backlight. The original Game Boy has the best battery life out of the regular Game Boys. Uh, the screen's a little smeary, but that's not really that important considering LSDJ is pretty much just text anyway. Uh, plus, it's kind of trendy to be, you know, sitting somewhere in a coffee shop working on chiptunes with the old Game Boy in hand, you know. Uh, maybe it's just me. Um, but if you can handle it, get the Game Boy Lite. It has a slightly bigger screen, better contrast, and it's backlit. Uh, that being said, these were only available in Japan, so they can be uh, nearly $100 on eBay. Otherwise, you can find these at your local Goodwill for like six bucks. Go on eBay, get it for 12, 15 bucks. They're pretty easy to come by. Now to make the music, you need software that runs on the Game Boy. I have two pieces of software on here. Uh, one is LSDJ and the other one is MCD, I believe it's called. I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, LSDJ is your traditional Amiga mod tracker type software where you can insert individual notes and it will play them back. While the other allows you to control the Game Boy via MIDI cable. Now, for that to be useful, you need custom hardware, this is the one I built here, to convert MIDI data from a computer to something the Game Boy understands. And so what this box does is takes the MIDI data, now puts it to one of these cables, the Game Boy Link cable. Stick it in the side, load up your favorite software on your computer and you're good to go. These are kind of hard to come by. I mean, some people sell them, but traditionally you have to make them yourself. And it's certainly not an easy approach. So uh, anybody who's wanting to start with chiptunes, I highly recommend just uh, grabbing LSDJ, sticking it on your favorite Game Boy cart. This is the one I use and going on from there. Now I'm gonna try the uh, Pitch Pen mod. It's not my favorite game, but it has a solid soundtrack. Castlevania Adventure. For the Game Boy, let's pop this in, turn it on.
let me give you a demonstration why this might actually be useful other than, say, cheating in the turbo tunnels at uh, Battletoads. So, uh, I mean, like I said, it is difficult to get the really bassy notes on some of the channels on the Game Boy. If you were to speed up the music, yet slow down the system, the speed of the music will maintain, will stay the same if you do it right, but the notes themselves will transpose down so you get a much more bassy sound. So uh, let me give you a demonstration of what this sounds like at normal speed. to do is go into the preferences for the song and up the tempo so it was at 145 let's put it to 200 now when I play the song without changing the CPU the song's gonna play much faster but the notes will stay pretty much the same Now what we're going to do is slow down the clock of the Game Boy. So we're back to our original speed, but the notes will be transposed down to give us a much more bassy sound. This is LSDJ, and um, you can see we have wave, noise, and uh, square channels here. And it's, it's pretty much like your traditional tracker software. For each phrase, you can see the notes I used in this case. This is my phrase 7. And, uh, this is pretty much the industry standard for Game Boy as far as tracker software goes. Uh, I highly recommend it. It's only a couple bucks if you want a lifetime subscription. They do have um, older demo versions as well. Uh, so pick up a copy and uh, go to town. I'd like to hear what you guys uh, make with it. So hopefully you found that useful. Uh, if you'd like to support uh, what it is I do, there are two ways you could go about doing that. Um, the soundtrack for Proton Pulse is on iTunes and Google Play, uh, or you can get the game itself. It's on iOS, Android Store, soon to be the Mac App Store. Uh, both of those are soundtracks that I developed uh, specifically for a game that Max in Cooking with Unity has been working on, so uh, hopefully you like the game or the soundtrack. Otherwise. Um, you know, just watch the video and, and uh, hopefully more tutorials will come. So, that's it. I can't be the only one who thinks this is trendy, can I?